morning. I'm very happy to uh, come to uh, this beautiful city and for the wonderful Congress to meet you to talk and share experience about uh, certain disease. And uh, today, in 50 minutes, we'll talk about uh, treatment and the prevention of uh, osteoporosis. That is a quite interesting topic, particularly and, uh, this uh, Congress is about people get old, huh? get in the old age, what we should do. And um, about this one, I want to uh, I want very briefly uh, talk about osteoporosis. In fact, it's a progressive bone disease. It's uh, because it can decrease in bone massa and the density and they increase the risk of fixture. That's the main problem. And uh, because of the time limit, I don't want to use too much time for the Western medical diagnosis and treatment. I may say for uh, the diagnosis, everybody knows we use, uh, in the hospital, they will use the DXA, this kind of uh, x-ray and scan, say, to measure the B, uh, BMD. And uh, about uh, the value and show them, we leave that uh, for yourself study. And here, I only want to particularly focus on Chinese uh, herbal medicine, that part, and also nutrition, exercise. And in the Western way, we say they have also the lifestyle change, that means move. Huh? Uh, they also advise people daily for movement, physical, such as don't take a, uh, the uh, elevator, but to take a stairs. And uh, uh, walking, jogging, that is uh, better than swimming and the cycling, because the body weight will also increase the bone massa. And uh, another nutrition in the Western way very often talk about the calcium and also vitamin D. Huh? That is uh, the mostly uh, uh, the talk about. In Holland, they say you have to take, especially ladies after menopause, you have to take four glasses of milk. It's in uh, Switzerland, I think. Advice also like that or not? No. Okay. Then this, uh, we, we leave that later. I will talk that in the Chinese way and how we think about this advice. And also in Leiden University, they did also uh, research, find out, in fact, to take so much uh, uh, calcium-rich uh, the milk product doesn't increase the uh, cal calcium absorption, in fact. And the last one is medication. Of course, this particularly after fr uh, the fracture they gave medication. But this part, I only take uh, several words for it because we don't have time for it. So that is uh, uh, some pictures I'm from the Medinet to get. You see and, uh, from beautiful young lady and uh, slowly go getting old and old and uh, you see the bone, normal structure become like less uh, the <coughs> the density is very much changed. And then you see those friction comes, that's why it's like this and later even can't sit, uh, stand anymore. That's why uh, this disease also called silent thief. I think it's a good name because you don't feel that and you see the change. And uh, in the practice I see uh, one lady, huh? is a little bit like this lady, but even worse. And he said, every day is so difficult with uh, the small uh, rollator. Huh? The, the, the neck is difficult to put ahead uh, straight. So that is, we say, the silent uh, yeah, thief to uh, steal the bones. And let we see what in the Chinese medicine the understanding of um, osteoporosis.